Hello, this is John from KVRProgramming.com and in this tutorial we're going to look at a technique called double buffering that is used to make animations smoother. Um, so um, actually I'm going to start just by getting rid of these um, these sysouts in here because we don't need them while I think of it. And um, double buffering involves doing your drawing to an off-screen image and then when the drawing is all complete you um, draw that off-screen image on the screen. So one big cause of, flicker of flickering in animation is that you're kind of drawing stuff while it's being shown on the screen um, and that, that can cause flickering and we're going to avoid that by drawing to an off-screen image and then drawing that all at once to the screen when it's complete. So I've got this game class here and at the moment it looks like um, this. In the last tutorial we've got this ball kind of animating, bouncing around the screen. And um, let's just minimize that. Um, and I'm going to here, at the moment I'm drawing everything in paint component. This is like a custom component directly to the graphics associated with the screen, directly to this um, graphics 2D. So I'm going to say here, I'm going to give it an instance variable of type private buffered image um, and I'll call that buffer. Um, now let's add the import there. Now because that's an instance variable it will be initialized to null and um, for reasons that you'll see in the next tutorial I'm actually in paint component going to allocate this image so I'm going to say if buffer equals null then I'm going to say um, buffer equals new buffered image, new buffered image. And um, the constructor here takes the width, height, and image type. And I'm going to say get width. That's calling my J component get width me method. Um, get height because um, I want it to be the same size as my component. And um, the image type here I'm going to set to buffered image dot um, type um, I think the one that I need here is going to be type int RGB red green blue um, so let's let's try that and see how it looks and save that um, and now I can I can get a graphics here associated with my buffered image I can say uh, buffer dot get get graphics and that will return me a graphics 2D so graphics 2D G2 equals and I think I need to cast that to graphics 2D which is which it really is behind the scenes uh, and now I won't use my G2 here anymore I'll delete that so I'll carry on drawing to G2 but I'm now I'm actually drawing to this image and finally when I finish drawing I'm going to say um, G which is the actual graphics here in paint component it's passed to paint component to paint the component with G dot draw uh, image uh, and I'm going to pass in well I don't think I want that one I'm going to pass in my buffer and I think there's a better constructor that I can use um, so I think I just need um, X, Y width. Let's use this one. So I'm going to draw the image at coordinate 0. X is 0, Y is 0. An image observer, we don't need that. I'm just going to set it to null. Um, so now when I run it, um, it's going to draw to my image and then draw the image to the screen. And if, if I compare this to my um, original one, I don't really know if you can see any difference at all there. I don't think I can. But in theory, using double buffering, you are less likely to get flicker. So it's it's probably worth doing, um, especially if your um, if your application does flicker a lot. If it doesn't, if you run it and it looks fine, then um, maybe don't bother doing this. Anyway, so I'll leave that. And there's one other thing that some people say um, helps although I'm not really sure about it because um, the J component has an update method. Let's go to source override implement methods um, and in here somewhere it's got a method called update. 
go to the bottom here and hope it's there. There it is, which accepts a graphics and update apparently calls um, paint and passes in the graphics and paint calls uh, paint component, paint border and paint children. But apparently, according to what I read on the internet, and I can't absolutely vouch for this, um, update also um, does a clear of the screen. And since we're since we are ourselves are actually um, clearing the screen here, making it black, we don't want to have update doing it as well. So it may make your animation even smoother just to override update and call paint directly and bypass that um, that alleged clearing of the screen. Okay, so that's double buffering, and that's it for this tutorial. And uh, join me again next time. And until next time, happy coding.